Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. It is Monday, November the 22nd and I have a card for you tonight on how to use up those little tiny strips of designer paper. So let me get my computer set up here so I can watch for comments and see if anybody is going to join me. There we are. Oh, it's crooked. Oh, I don't like crooked things. You know me. I like my stuff to be straight. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> I'm just moving it around. There we go. It's straight. It's organized. It's ready to go. Yay. Okay. Get my mouse working here. Hello, Janet. Welcome, ladies. I have half of this card covered up because I want to do the, I want to share how I use the garden gems on this card. And it's really quite, quite cool. Let's just get the garden gems out. Let's get a package of them out. Because I'm giving, hi, Holly. I'm giving a whole bunch of garden gems away. Now, is that a bit close? Do I need to back up a bit, maybe? Pull it out. There we go. Pull it out a bit. I think I had it a bit close. Hi, Norma. Okay, there we go. That's better. A little bit further out. Sometimes getting up so close is detrimental. Because <laughs> you don't need to see my fingers up that close. I was watching a video once and it was really close and I couldn't, I couldn't stand watching it because all I could see were the hands. I couldn't see anything else because they were just so in your face. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, so tonight I'm going to share how to make this card that I'm going to unveil in a little bit. But I want to let everybody know that I am giving away packages of garden gems. So these are only available while supplies last. They will not be in the catalog when it comes out in January. You can order them now, but I've ordered a bunch of them and I'm giving them away to whoever places a minimum $60 order. They're going to get a package of these in their thank you card when I mail off the thank you card. So... If you want a free package of garden gems, just place an order. But I must, I must warn you that um, I went to place an online order for somebody today and there was this really weird error message that came up that said that they are unable to process um, Canadian credit cards at this point, but don't pay any attention to it. They have no idea why that's coming up. And I was able to place my order and I know somebody that placed an order after that as well. So if it that error message comes up for you, just ignore it and put your order in as normal. Okay. So is Valerie here yet? Because I got a card from her and I'd like to share it with you, but I want to make sure that she's here first before I do. So, Valerie, if you are here, let me know. I think that's you there. Oh, there's Valerie. Yay, good. Okay, now I can share the card. So, I got a card from Valerie today. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous card. Is She winkied the bird. Can you see the this bling on the bird? Look at all that hand cut work. Well done, Val. Here, just let me let me remove the note up from the inside and she even decorated the inside. Isn't that cute? And the envelope I had to throw it away because K 
Canada Post canceled the stamp. How dare they? So, Valerie, what bling is this? Is this stamping up bling here? It looks like you might have colored it with your Stampin' Blends. They're really pretty. So this is this is um, Free as a Bird. That's the stamp set. Yes, I love it too. I love Free as a Bird. I used it quite a bit when we first got it. But of course it's down in the towards the long time stamp sets now. So thanks for the card, Valerie. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to show you the whole card now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Ta da so there's how I used the garden gems. These are the ovally faceted ones. And then there's one here on his, on the head. I thought that looked kind of cool on there like that. And Shanna, one of my, hi Jean, Shanna, one of my friends and downline, from Edmonton, she has been challenging me to mix up my embellishments on a card. So I added pearls and garden gems. Pretty cool, eh? I know, Carmen. Oh, I'm getting so good. <laughs> Anyways, so this is these are the ones I did around here. So look at you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. You get 60 of these ones. There's 140, so there's 80 of these ones. So free package with any order of minimum a $60 order, product total, until I run out. So there you go. Get your orders in. All right, so let's do some stamping. I don't know why... I uh, I started to build this card. <laughs> I don't know why. It was like, why am I cutting everything out? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, Val, they may be contraband, but they look a lot like our, what were they called? Um, hang on. Hang on. What are they called? Mm. Um, is it the genial gems? Or you know the ones, the Christmas ones that they're retiring. Oh, let me see if I've got them here in my retiring. Oops, my retiring box. I didn't have many left. I might have used them all. You know the ones that were half gold and half red? Well, they're not in there. It would be really easy to reproduce them. Um, wonderful gems. Oh, they don't even have a, you they sort of have a picture so these ones here they're um, gold and red and you could just color them with your Stampin' Blends she sent me a picture I'm in the middle of oh no. whoops oh those are pretty yeah I don't think they're stamping up though but anyways that's how you could get those Okay, so back to the card. I just realized I didn't get my machine. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Although I did some of it, I didn't do it all. So I needed my machine. 
Okay, so I ran a piece of five and a quarter by four basic white through with the tasteful, tasteful textile embossing folder. Then the base, the base is eight and a half by, or yeah, eight and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to put this on here. Which side shall I put out? I think I'll put that one out. Get this on. So, you know those one inch strips of designer paper? These ones? That's what we're going to use to build this card. I was uh, settling down for my after dinner snooze. <laughs> my sister decided I needed to call her. I'm doing this because the card is folded crooked. And I don't like it folded crooked. So that's going to be the back and this is going to be the front. Okay, I got it now. We're fine. So I said to her, well, I can talk, but I've got 15 minutes and then I have to be live. Okay, so Tasteful Textiles Embossing Folder. Then I have a piece of mint macaron that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter and I have a piece of hand pen designer paper that is three and an eighth by three and an eighth and I wanted to use the the subtle background because I'm using strips of design of the designer paper and these are just ones that I had um, left over so you know how you end up with those long six inch strips well these are all um, one by three and a quarter and I'm just going to use you can use them just like that on this card or you can cut them with I'm going to use the um, stitch <coughs> excuse me stitch rectangle die <coughs> And I'm going to cut out four of these. So I'm going to do one of that side, one of that side, and then one of each of those, just so I can mix them up. So you can see them in behind there. I have four strips, and I've kind of latticed them like this. So we're going to cut these now. And because they're very narrow strips, and I have to make sure I get... And on there, I'm going to use some, that's not going to work, some post-it tape just to hold it in place so it doesn't move because you don't have a lot of room with this die. So, did everybody have a good weekend? Did you stay warm? Did you stay dry? Did you do anything exciting? We put our Christmas lights up. We have not turned them on yet because we don't do that um, until the 1st of December. But at least they're all up. I love it too. Post-it tape is my friend. Oh, are you still mucking out, Val? Doing a purge? I haven't had time to continue with mine. Oh my God, Norma. <laughs> I haven't done that for a few years, but oh, that's a lot of work. When we lived up north, we used to go moose hunting. And one year we actually got a moose. But um, we used to help 
in the community, there was four houses in this where we lived and we all helped each other out. So whenever anybody got a moose, we would all pitch in with the, with the butchering and stuff. I bet it was. Oh, Val, that sounds so exciting for you to get your craft room renoed. Okay, I have my four pieces. So, Norma, did you um, just wrap it or did you make sausage and stuff too? Okay, I have my four. Man, those pieces look really close together, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take them and weave them like this. And you can do it whatever way you want. And you don't have to have die cut them. You can just use them in the one inch strips. I just wanted the stitch marks on there. See, like this. And then I'm going to take... Jean spent the weekend getting cards in the mail and making Thanksgiving cards. 14 happy mail and I have 10 more to go. Oh, oh right, because you have Thanksgiving this weekend, Jean. 20 pounds of beef sausage and 10 pounds of beef pepperoni. Oof, that sounds yummy. That'll do you for a while. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I lost my pokey tool. What? What? Where did my pokey tool go? That's not good. Because I haven't used it yet, which means that it's MIA. Okay, I'm just going to make sure these are all lined up before I start putting glue dots under there. Because I don't want them to be uneven. Because you know me and my OCD, everything has to be even. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold it down and just lift it up. Oh, see it moved. Lift it up. And put the glue dot down there. in a little bit. There we go. And around here. So my sister, she lives now. She lives up um, in the central BC area, just outside of Kamloops at a ski resort community because they're avid skiers. It opened up Saturday. It, they had their opening with one um, one run, and they've already, it, today's Monday. Yeah, today's Monday. They've always already skied three days. So, yeah, they're very avid skiers. Okay, I'm going to put this on the mint macaron one. on here and of course they never had any of the rain up there and the destruction that we have here okay now it's going to run adhesive all the way down these and go right over top of each other so that they don't come apart but that's my finger Then you just center it on here. Oh, it's a little crooked, but that's okay because some of it is going, most of it gets covered up by the butterfly anyways. Okay, so <laughs> look at how crooked that is. Oh my God, it's so crooked. Letting it go. Okay, I have butterflies. I cut a whole bunch of them. 
because I could. And I'm going to pick out, I think, the biggest one. But you know what? I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be cool? Let's see, we'll put that one on the front. So I'll move that one out of the way. But wouldn't it be cool to just add these onto here in the background? I should have done it before I put this on here. Should have had the great idea. And then this is going to go here. Okay, I'm going to put the bigger one over here. Ooh, I like that. Um, it's the, hang on, hang on, the Brilliant Wings dies. And I cut them all out. Oh, yes, I think I need to do that. What do you think? Should I put the butterflies on there? I am letting it go, Val. I am, I'm letting it go. I am, I am. Okay, I need to get my my mat out. We'll put some adhesive on the back of these. I love butterflies. They're so happy and fun. So you guys aren't... Oh, no! Big glob coming out. Uh-oh. Don't want big glob. Come on. Okay, this might not work. Oh, good gosh. I have to try to stop it from gushing out. And it's not working. Come on. Don't do this on me. Oops, now I'm getting it everywhere. Okay. Just come out with a lot. There we go. Maybe not. There. Get some on here before it gushes out too hot, too much. Woo! It stuck to my finger. Gonna definitely gonna have to let this dry before I put it on there. Because there's a lot of glue on here. I hate how Tombow does that sometimes, you know. When you get down to the end, towards the end of it, it starts just leaking out. And you have no control over it. So what I did was I just squished a whole bunch into my garbage can and got rid of the blockage and it seems to have slowed it down a little bit but I'm not squishing it at all it's just coming out by itself okay now I have to go back and whoops gotta do the antenna or they're gonna fall off there now We'll put the lid on this. Oh, is Carol here? Did I miss? Did I miss some con? Flutterbys, yeah, flutterbys. Well, hello, Carol, if you're watching. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to let these dry. I just have to get rid of some of the glue that's in the middle of this dude. Because it's going to take forever for that one to dry. There. Okay. We'll just put those over here. Now, the other one. <laughs> I got 
glue everywhere. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do what I normally do, which is glue his body and then stick some dimensionals on the wings. So I'm going to see if I can find a couple of spots to put little tiny dimensional pieces on. I don't know where my pokey tool is. I'm going to have to find it. Come on, I go. I cut you already once. Why are you not letting go? Woo! Okay, butterflies are fluttering everywhere. Come on. Get off my fingers. So I'm just finding where the thick parts are of the wings and just putting a little bit of dimensional right there. And of course it's not sitting where it should be. There we go. Okay. Okay, one more little piece. I'm here. Oh! Aw, you've been baking. That's awesome. Yeah, apparently um, Thanksgiving cooking down in the States is way more in depth than it is here in Canada for Thanksgiving. I've been reading some stuff about the... Um, the American Thanksgiving and all about the cooking traditions. We don't go as all out as you guys do. We have our turkey and our um, pumpkin pie and stuff, but oh, there's Wendy too. Hello, Wendy. Yeah, we have um, little bits of food. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on here, like that. Just hold the body down a couple of seconds to get it to go, and then push those dimensionals down. There we go. How are the butterflies doing? Oh, not dry yet. Okay. Well, then, let's find the inside piece. So this is what I did on the inside. I did a strip of the designer paper and then I put the flowers in from the side and then on the envelope. So that's what I'm going to do while we wait for it to dry. Let's get out a piece of <laughs> all about the sides. <laughs> yeah, we have like mashed potatoes and yams and, and Brussels sprouts and veggies and turkey. <clears throat> and stuffing and gravy and all that stuff but yeah I've been reading a lot and you guys' meal sounds really good oh look I got the I got the other flower out oh well we'll use the other flower it's different than the one I used on my original card oh <gasps> See what I did? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Now I know I've lost it. Seven grandchildren. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, you better have stuff. Did you guys see what I did? I inked up the back of the stamp instead of the front of the stamp. <laughs> God, so let's just take that off the block and we'll put it on the block the right way around. Good God. I saw a picture of your family, Carol. It looks awesome. Lots of fun kids. Okay, we'll just stick this on here like this. Now that I got it inked up the right way. Oh my God, it's so funny. Yep. There we go. 
and I'm going to do the envelope while I have the ink and the stamp out. See, not everything goes the right way in my craft room. Okay, let's just do part of a stamp on here, like this. Now, you could probably um, do a custom envelope for this too. That would be cool. Two sets of twins. Oh my God, Carol, that's awesome. I was so hoping that I, we would have twin grandchildren because we have twins, but neither one of our daughter-in-laws have twins and they've all both announced that that's it. They're not having any more. So there's no hope of twin grandchildren. So I'll have to hope for great twin greats now. Of course, both of our daughter-in-laws looked at me like I'd grown horns when I suggested that maybe they could have twins. <laughs> they were not impressed with me. There we go. And we'll put this inside while we're at it. Because we're still letting those butterflies dry. It's going to go in here like this. There we are. So there's our inside. There's our envelope. Oh, I threw that piece of... Why did I do that? I threw away my, my piece of cardstock for the sentiment. Yep. It's been one of those days. <laughs> That's two, Carmen. We can't. And we were camping for our Thanksgiving, so I'm not spending the entire day cooking when I'm camping. So this is just a um, a piece that's one of five eighths by five eighths of basic white for the sentiment. Just stamping it in memento, and then that will get dimensionals on it. Boy, I'm going to have to find my pokey tool. I don't know what I did with it. Did you see that? Did you see that? It's in the middle. I didn't start on the side. I'm getting there. Now, tell me. On this card, I put this flat on the card. Do you think I should raise it up? On dimensionals or should it be flat? Okay, let's put some butterflies on. Put this one down here in the corner. Like that. And we'll put this one. Uh oh. It's stuck on my finger now. I need to turn that around a bit. There we go. And now this one will fit on here where I want it to be. Like that. Of course, now there's glue everywhere. That was smart, Mala. Let's just pull this off. Pop it up, says Valerie. I'm just erasing that glue. There we go. Pop it up. Pop it up. Maybe this one needs to go this way. No. I like it better that way. Okay. 
There we go. Janet says pop it up. What do you think? Looks kind of cool with those butterflies there, doesn't it? And then this, see, this is going to go on here like this. And this is going to go here. Now, apparently, I'm going to have to take that dimensional off there. Because if we pop it up, I'm going to have to be able to just lay this on top of the... Come on, get off of there. Yeah, this pokey tool doesn't work like the other one does. Okay, we're going to pop it up. Get some dimensional on here. Oops. Apparently these were well cut. One right through to the other side. Oops. All right, get this on there. So I didn't do much of anything on the weekend besides put our Christmas lights up. I worked a lot. We had family dinner on on Friday. And then James came over and helped us put the lights up. On Sunday okay I'm to put a little bit of adhesive on here because this is going to sit over the corner of that now right right there look at that so we went rogue now where am I going to put the, the jewels Gotta get them. Gotta get them out. Here comes the garden gems. Need one for the head. And then a couple of pearls. Uh oh. Oh, there they are. Thought I'd lost them. Put three pearls on the body. That one should be up a little bit. There we are. I do too, Carmen. Who knew it would look so pretty, eh? Now we're going to use these. Got to make them even. Nope. Come on. Gotta go in a bit further. There. What do you think? You think those look okay there? I'm thinking that maybe it doesn't need them. Maybe we need to put them there. This is crooked and it's really bothering me. Do you like them? Do you like them where they are now or over here? 
or not at all. Let me know which one, which you prefer. Not at all, as they are, or on the butterflies. They're hard to get even. There. Do you like the corners? We could um could take these off. Oops. Not necessarily gonna leave those there, but I'll put them there for a sec. And we could put this put them down the the body. What about that? Or put these in the corners. Put two on that body and one on this body. I like them on here too, Holly. I love, I love these here. It really makes the card finished. But of course we went rogue on this card and put butterflies on there. But I think I like that. I like that arrangement the best. Maybe these need to be touching each other. So I spent the past couple of days watching Chesapeake Shores season, I think it's season five. I love that show. That's the one that's filmed in Parksville. I like it in the bodies too. I think that's pretty. And then I like the pearls here on the corners too. So Chesapeake Shores, um, is, par is filmed in Parksville. And when we were camping over there last spring, they were setting up to film more of the series. It was kind of cool to see all the trucks arriving. Of course, they started filming on Monday and we left on Sunday. but So I didn't get to see any of it. What's missing? Um, no, it's not on... Netflix. It's, um, I watch it on soap today. It doesn't, it doesn't, it isn't in Canada. Um, I think you can get it in the States on NBC or CBS or something. So what's missing? Winkastella. A little bit of winky on here. Gotta have some winky. Card's not done till you put the winky on it. There we are. Yay, winky. Oh. Watch the show, Jean, because then you'll know where I live. Because it's the um, the house that they use is on the shore, but they pan over the uh, marina where there's lots of boats, and that's the marina we used to have our boat in. And I, I look and look and look, but our boat must have been gone by the time they started filming um, Nanus Bay Marina is the one that they show all the time on the show. It's really quite interesting. And downtown Parksville and um, the beaches in Parksville. Yep, Winky it is. There's Winky on it now. There we go. So, got a couple of 
Oh yeah, I did put Winky on. I did put Winky on the original one. This has all got Winky on it. So using basically the same supplies, I got a couple of different looking cards. I'm going to have to read the books. I think that'd be good. Do you know what the author is, Jean, for those? I couldn't look it up too. It's not a big deal. Okay. Well, don't forget, if you're in Canada, place a minimum $60 order. I have some of these to give away. I'm not going to tell you how many. It's a secret. But until I run out of them, I'm going to give them as thank in the thank you cards for any order of $60 or more, just because I love you all. And I can. Thanks, Valerie. I think they're pretty cool. I think this could have been a bit straighter, but, you know, it is what it is. Whoever gets this card is going to enjoy it anyways, because they're not going to see this one, and whoever gets this one is not going to see that one. Aw, thanks, Val. Okay, I think that's it. Cheryl Woods. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Like this. But his paper, Cheryl Woods, Chesapeake Shores. Okay, I will look for it because I have a whole bunch of of um, e-books and it, they might be in there. Thanks, Jean. Thanks, Holly, Norma. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate it. Well, I guess I have two more thank you cards now to go with my with my garden gem giveaway. I'm going to have to make a whole bunch of more cards because I'm running out of thank you cards because I've been making nothing but Christmas cards lately. Okay, tomorrow morning, YouTube Live. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing a Christmas card. Oh, hang on, I'll give you a sneak peek of tomorrow's card. I don't want to show it all to you. There you go. There's a sneak peek of tomorrow's card. YouTube. My YouTube channel. I'm live at 10 o'clock Pacific time. I hope you can join me. If not, the replay will be there. And, you know, I'll share it. I'll share it on my blog and my Facebook page, too. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to join me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you soon next time in my craft room. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Stampin' Smiles, and bye for now. <laughs>